was to visit Orlando's theme parks. Um, her wish was granted by a, hot a hotelier named Henry Landworth, but planning took too long and um, she passed away and her wish wasn't um, able to be granted. And I'm sure when we were all little, we, um, <laughs> we had a wish and it wasn't um, able to come true, so we all understand the disappointment that she would have felt. Um, my name is Sarah Ford, and through my coursework at UCF, I've completed a service learning project at Give Kids the World and volunteered over 20 hours. Um, Give Kids the World is a place that inspires hope for the future while creating an experience to last a lifetime. This is their um, slogan. Um, volunteering at Give Kids the World has taught me a lot about their history, their village, um, and just about like overall volunteering and what you can do. And, um, how the volunteers really helped the organization run. Um, according to GiveKidsTheWorld.org, it was started by a hotel leader named Henry Landworth, and he was inspired by Amy's story. Um, he made his vow that all children would be able to have their wishes come true. And some of you may have heard of Give Kids the World, but may not know exactly what it is. Give Kids the World is a nonprofit organization that fulfills the wishes of children with life-threatening diseases, a cost-free visit to Central Florida's attractions, while staying at the Give Kids the World Village. Um, I was first there and I was amazed by everything they had. It's like all based like on like young children and it's like everything they have is themed, like every village is different. It's like, it's really great. Um, a family that I talked to when I was volunteering, the Avery family from Illinois, they were visiting and they just loved coming back to their villas and um, having a, like a homey place to stay after staying all day at the theme parks. Um, the village is a 70-acre resort with 100 villas and other various themes designed for kids with special needs. At Give Kids the World, there's something for everything. There's a magical castle, two swimming pools, a train station, a safari movie theater. And at each different place, there's um, a lot of different things you can do. Um, some of the most popular things is to go to the castle and um, like make pillows and color and watch movies, or you can ride on the carousel. Um, Amberville is is just like a recreational place. I'll show you a picture of it. Um, it like there's a train station and there's like a video arcade and a, a golf course and it's a fun place for hang, for families to hang out. Um, Robert went to volunteer there for six years so that families love to ride the train at Amberville and see the entire Give Kids the World property. And that's really true because when I was volunteering there, I drove around. I was driving the train and I drove the same place around like eight million times. They like love it. Um, <laughs> at Amberville, there's also a video arcade. And another part um, of the castle is the La Tida Spa. And it's like my favorite part. It's like really cute. And all these like little girls get to come in and like get their nails done and like get their hair done and stuff. It's really cute. Um, Give Kids the World runs solely on partnerships and volunteers. With the support of Give Kids the World partnerships, they've been able to fulfill the wishes of children that come to Give Kids the World. And some of those partners include Walmart and SeaWorld um, and Universal. And they really make it possible for Give Kids the World to run on a daily basis. They have over 3,000 volunteers um, that fill about 1,700 shifts a week. And volunteering there has been such a great experience. I would really encourage like all of you guys to to do it, um, you get to like make these connections with children who may not necessarily have like that, like that much time left, like, and they like really like show you to appreciate like what you have, and it's really great. <laughs> um, so think about all the kids that have cut, that have had their lives cut short due to life-threatening diseases, but give kids the world is giving them hope and inspiration for the future. Um, the great values. Um, the village and the volunteers really make it um, really create a memorable experience to last a lifetime. Alright. Okay. Imagine being a child whose illness prevents them from enjoying their time with their friends and family and being a normal kid because they're always in and out of the hospital or taking medicine um, to treat their illness. Well, Give Kids the World um, gives these children the opportunity to spend time with their families outside of the hospitals and treatments. Many of us have seen um, how a child's illness affects the families, whether it's by watching a movie or reading a book or just observing a friend or family who is experiencing this tragedy. 
Um, my name is Shannon Schechter, and as a part of my service learning class at UCF this semester, I've completed volunteer hours with Give Kids the World. Give Kids the World is a generous nonprofit organization that requires the help of volunteers um, to survive. And volunteers have a variety of positions that they can fulfill, such as working in um, the Gingerbread House, Amberville, or the La Dira Spa. These are just a couple of the positions you could serve. There are over 50 different volunteer positions. Um, it's really easy for someone to get involved with Give Kids the World. All you have to do is fill out a volunteer application either online before your orientation session or when you get to your orientation session. Orientation is a three hour process. It's usually on a Saturday or Sunday and it includes the tour of the village and volunteer positions. Once you set up your volunteer um, orientation and complete it, you can call and set up volunteer hours. Give Kids the World is really accommodating to your schedule. So if you want uh, one position like every week, they can set that up for you or you could call sporadically for different positions at your convenience. Pamela Landworth says that there are many generous corporate supporters and our dedicated volunteers that help make this week for families a dream come true. So as you can see, you are really making a difference in a child's life, and I'm not just saying that. The little things are what makes these children so happy. Um, I volunteered at the La Dira Spa, which is in the castle, and it has airbrushing tattoos, makeup, and manicure volunteers. Sarah Floyd and I did the airbrushing tattoos, and these kids were like obsessed with it. Like their eyes like lit up, they like loved it, and they thought that we were like professionals, but it was like only our first time doing it. Um, and you can just like tell that the families are like getting like their minds off of the illness and just enjoying their time with um, their children at Give Kids the World. Um, I also volunteered at the Gingerbread House and this is one of the dining services that Give Kids the World offers to the families. And there's a lot of different roles that you can play by volunteering there. Um, you can carry trays, clean and clear tables, serve and refill drinks, or um, serve food. There are volunteers who have been volunteering for many years, and I met a couple that lives in Pennsylvania, kind of near me, and um, they drive down to Florida each winter to volunteer at Give Kids the World. And Glenn, the man that I talked to, told me that volunteering at Give Kids the World is unlike any other organization because you get to make the experience your own by getting involved with the children and making them feel as if they're prince or princesses of Give Kids the World. So it's a really good opportunity. Um, another position a volunteer can fill is in Amberville, and Amberville is like the game center where there's trains and water boats and pool tables and arcade games. And while I volunteered in Amberville, I also drove the train, and there was like this little girl next to me. She's like, wow, this is so cool. Okay, the train goes like five miles an hour, and it's really not exciting, but I guess to little kids, it's like a roller coaster, so they really, really enjoy it. And as you can see, there's a variety of different volunteer opportunities that you can get involved with. Um, not only are you creating memories for the children to like take away from Give Kids the World, but you're also benefiting yourself. Um, Christy Griffin, the volunteer coordinator, said volunteers are doing a good thing for the community, but teenage volunteers can benefit as well. High school students can put this on their college applications and college students can put it on their job applications. And employers love to see applicants uh, volunteer at the same place because it shows dedication. So volunteering also helps to create a network because while you're there, you're establishing different relationships with other volunteers that you're working with, which could potentially give you um, an opportunity in the future. So as you can see, becoming a volunteer with this organization is very rewarding for both the families and the volunteers. And it's really not hard to become a volunteer because once you are, you really are making a difference in these like life-threatening disease children. So um, you can visit the website at www.gktw.org to find out more information and to complete your volunteer application or sign up for an orientation. But imagine being a child or sibling of a child suffering with this life-threatening illness. Wouldn't it be great if you had a place like Give Kids the World to go to where your volunteers are really sincere and wanting to 
make your experience the best one? Or better yet, what if you were that volunteer giving these children life-lasting memories to take away from? So consider volunteering at Gift Kids the World. I can personally say that you won't regret it because it really is a good opportunity.